Hello everyone, welcome in Highway Engineering Lab. Today we perform our flattiness and elongation test on a aggregate. The objective now apart us use in a this test. So first one is the thickness gauge used for the flattiness index, and the second one is length gauge for elongation index. Procedure. Now first we find the flakiness index. Okay, so what is the flakiness index? The flakiness index of the aggregate is the percentage by weight of particle whose at least dimension is less than 3 fifth means 0.5 of their mean dimension. The test is not applicable to size smaller than 6.3 mm. Now the first step of the practical. We need to take a sample for the sieve analysis. So the sample is sieve through IS sieve. The sieve size is 63 mm, 50 mm, 40 mm, 31.5 mm, 25 mm, up to 6.3 mm. After sieve the sample, we take a minimum 200 pieces of each fraction to be tested, are taken and weighted, and the weight is called W. Now separate the flaky material by using standard thickness gauge. The amount of flaky material passing the gauge is weighted to an accuracy of at least 0.1% of the weight of the test sample. In order to calculate the flakiness index of an entire sample of aggregate, first the weight of each fraction of aggregate passing and retaining on the specific set of a sieve is noted. Now here you can see the peak of a thickness gauge and the thickness gauge is uh, with the aggregate size or a sieve size is given to you mark on the thickness gauge starting from the 63 to 50 up to the 10 to 6.3. What it means? Here you can see that the 63 to 50 size is given to you. So it indicates that aggregate is passing from the 6, 63 and written on 50 mm. You need to pass it from that section only. Now you have to collect 200 pieces of aggregate passing from 63 mm and written on 50 mm. And after that, you need to pass through this particular slot, okay, with the specific thickness. Now, next step is for calculation of flakiness index. So, for finding the flakiness index, we need two types of weight. First weight is what the weight of 200 pieces of aggregate and the second and weight is what the weight of material passing from that thickness gauge now next one is observation table in an observation table you need to write the sieve size or size of aggregate that is passing from that iron sieve and written on is sieve like we take our first example 63 to 50 Passing from the 63 ISC and written on 50 mm ISC. Okay, and the weight of fraction consists of at least 200 pieces. So, W1 is what? The weight of 200 pieces passing from 63 mm and written on 50 mm ISC that you need to write in a third column. Okay, and for the last column, the weight of aggregate in each case fraction passing from this respective game thickness slot okay so that you need to write that how many pieces from that 200 pieces how many pieces are passing from that slot like if there is a 200 pieces from that 5 pieces or 10 pieces is passing from that gap so you need to wait that sample and just you need to write in a last column w1 okay 
so now for the allocation index so the allocation index of the aggregate is the percentage by the weight of particles whose the greatest dimension greater dimension means what its length okay so length is greater than 1 and 4 fifth time of the mean dimension means 1.8 times and the elongation phase is not applicable to size smaller than 6.3 mm aggregate the procedure is same as the flakiness index okay so for elongation index first we need to sieve a sample okay like a respective sieve and then we take a sample to of 200 pieces for each fraction then we need to separate is using that elongated length gauge okay then total to 200 pieces is collected from each fraction and weighted and after that you need to pass through the respective slot like if there is a 50 40 slot so you need to pass through that 40 50 slot and you need to measure the retaining weight the aggregate retain on their respective slot so in a flakiness index we measure a uh, passing weight and in elongation index we measure a retain weight okay on a respective now in a observation table for the elongation index the same first two table is same for the elongation that is your size of aggregate that is passing from their respective isu and retain on isu and same in a third column the weight of fraction consists of at least 200 pieces so it is the total weight of a 200 pieces and the last column is the sample or aggregate retained on the respective slot okay so in the last column we need to write the weight of aggregate retained on their specific slot now we perform this test on our lab okay so you can understand how the step by step is procedure follow and we find the flakiness and elongation index okay there is a one small example is there there is a one sample is taken for this video get passing from that 50 mm sieve and the retain on 14 mm sieve the sample is taken not a 200 sample but just for our understanding we take a small sample size okay so those who are aggregate passing from 50 mm and retain on 40 mm that aggregate we take up so the total weight of that aggregate is 590 the flakiness index from the 200 pieces we need to pass those aggregate into their respective slot and those who are passing from that thickness gate we need to weight that material and write it into column number 